Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out Texture by Devious Machines. This is gonna be a straight up walkthrough video of what the plugin is, how to use it, and so on and so forth, what it has available inside. And I've done a few other tutorials for Plugin Boutique, so if you wanna go search on YouTube, Texture Tutorial, Devious Machines, you'll find them. One's how to build a kick drum, one's how to replace your hi-hats, and I'm sure there'll be other videos up there too as well. So very, very cool plugin. So the best thing for me to do is show you what it does on this drum track right here. And then I'm gonna walk you through this project file that I have loaded up because I just did this for the ad promo for Devious Machines, for Texture specifically. And each one of these tracks has texture on it and utilizes it in different ways. So I'll walk you through that just to show you what's uh, you know what you can accomplish. For this first part, I just wanna show you this right here. I'm gonna come over and let's just open it up. I've got it on this drum loop. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass the noise for a second. So you can see here in the graphic display that there's an envelope. There's the gray, which is the original sound, and then there's the blue line, which is the envelope around that sound. And if I turn on the noise and then go ahead and play that same drum loop again, and this is just on the default patch. You can see that it's adding digital white noise to the envelope. And we can have control over that sound in a number of different ways. We have the control right here, right now it says color, but each one of the sounds has different parameters here, which you can control. There are actually oscillators in here. There's some granular style effects and there's a bunch of audio samples as well. So this is gonna change, but for digital white noise, it's got color. And that's the basic control for the noise. There's over 340 different noises that come included inside a texture. You'll see here lots and lots of noises at your disposal. There's also a great deal of presets as well. There's even sub menus for here. So there's a lot going on inside of here. I'm gonna skip that for now. Again, we're just doing the walkthrough. So in terms of when the sound happens, we've got the gate. And if I pull the gate up higher, You can see that right now only the, like the kick and the snare are triggering the noise. And if I come down here to the envelope, this is the envelope for the noise too. So if I pull up the decay, you'll see that I'm getting a longer decay on the noise signal. Uh, hold is the same thing. So that's how, you see the flat line there? That's the hold. So if the, it's all the way down, the decay is gonna commence immediately. All right, and of course, attack is pretty straightforward. So you also got the gate and limit controls as well. The limit works kind of like the gate, it just sets a ceiling instead of a floor. All right, so that's the basic controls. You do have a filter over here, and this filter is for the noise itself. It doesn't filter the original signal. You do have your dry wet over here. Double clicking any parameter sets it back to zero. The noise has its own volume control as well. Double clicking sets it back to zero. Uh, you can bypass or solo the noise at any time, which is very helpful. There's also a sidechain filter as well. If you wanna sidechain the incoming signal, to a certain frequency range, so the noise will only be triggered by that. That's another way to do it as well. So let's just keep going. Let's check out hi-hats. So you see how it's just adding hi-hats to the um, harder hitting drums inside of this loop? This is a perfect example of what texture is really good at. We've got the modulation page right here where we've got an LFO and an envelope modulator. We've got the sine, triangle, square, saw plus, saw minus. If I turn it on sine and tweak out the pitch here and look over here on the pitch, there is a graphic showing you the distance there and we can obviously you know, move the pitch up and that distance is gonna be the same but it's gonna affect the higher frequency range because we've pitched it up. We got speed control, phase control, color, and cutoff. The cutoff is actually gonna be modulating the filter down here. So if I 
add a little bit of cutoff here. You can actually see the animated ball inside of there of where the frequency cutoff point is moving. Very, very cool color. For this particular noise, isn't gonna do anything because there isn't a color parameter, but other noises do have that. There's a color one. So now that I've modulated the color, you can see that that's happening there as well. So that's very, very cool. And the envelope works the same way. We can modulate the pitch, color, or cutoff due to the incoming envelope. So it's a whole different type of modulation there, and they're both very, very useful. I'm gonna double click to set them all back. <coughs> we also have a noise EQ. Double clicking any of these will make them active. You have a number of different filter types. You've got control down here, but you can also click and drag here as well. Uh, using the mouse over any of these knobs is gonna set the cue point more narrow or wider. Very, very cool. Double, cl double click and we'll obviously turn it off again. And you also have an EQ for the original sound inside of Texture as well. So that's pretty much it. That's a run through. So that's a pretty much a basic run through of the plugin. So let's check out what it's capable of. And I played this song or this little track at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna play it again. It's only 30 seconds long. Just listen and see if you can pick out what Texture is doing. All right, so the track is super cool. Let's just jump in. This track right here is the only one that doesn't have texture on it. So I did lie there. <laughs> there is one that doesn't have it. But let's check out this first one. Come in here, turn texture off, and let's just listen to the original. Pretty cool. Let's open up texture, turn it on, and see what happens now. So it's actually made it into a bigger, more powerful riser due to that modulator sound source from the synth effects folder. And what I did was just automate the noise color, which is gonna be right here, and the dry wet, because I didn't want it to fully overpower the actual crashes themselves, and I wanted it to just add a little bit of extra energy, and it worked out perfectly. If I bypass that noise, So very, very cool, right? Let's keep moving here. And the next up, I've got these snare drums, this little snare roll right here. Turn off texture for a second. Okay, so that's the original. And now I'm just adding a little bit of digital white noise over time. I believe I'm adjusting the color. Uh, yeah, the color and the dry wet a little bit over time. Again, just to add a little bit of that extra energy there. It's perfect. Next up, we got the drums. And here it's a very, very subtle effect. It's just got some brush bristles, the sound effects and Foley folder. Uh, filtered up just so the high end is coming in and I'm only really really triggering it with the heavy he and I'm only really triggering it with the heavy drums due to where the gate position is but I really just wanted to kind of add to the extra bit of again tension towards the end of the track because just adding that extra bit of grit there towards the end just adds a little bit of detail and character that really help push the track into the right direction <laughs> So there's actually quite a few things coming on, uh, going on right here. One, I've got some modulation on the color right here, uh, all the way, it's giving it a big swing. I've got the saw plus on here. 
it's it's synced at half a bar and then I have the pitch going up and this is called orchestral major so there's actually just a chord playing steadily in the background and I just pitch it up and again because I want there to be a constantly increasing tension for the music and this just worked out really really well the color is just adding a little bit more movement to what was already pretty much in motion let's keep going We've got this original, this is actually super cool. Here I'm just using what's called light walla. Walla is a term for sound engineers for film where it's just like the noise in the background. So that's what that means. And you can actually hear it quite well inside of here. So very, very cool. It's just adding that extra bit of character there for the intro. And who doesn't like a little bit of people speaking in the background of their tracks? So anyway, that's a quick walkthrough of Texture, what it's capable of, obviously so much more. Definitely check out the other objective-based tutorials that we've put out for this thing. You're really gonna like it. Links in the video description if you wanna check it out. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique, and I'll see you in the next video.